Well, almost one week after Lakin Riley's body was found near the running trail of the University of Georgia's campus, the mayor of Athens, Clark County, held a news conference on new and proposed safety upgrades. Now, according to federal law enforcement, the suspect charged with murdering Riley entered the U.S. unlawfully in 2022. And as 11 Alive's Tracy A. McPeer reports, today's news conference devolved into a screaming match about whether Athens is a sanctuary city. You're be time a for liar. questions. You are guilty and got blood on your hands for this murder, sir. At a news conference in Athens on Wednesday, protesters accused Athens Clark County Mayor Kelly Gertz of creating a sanctuary city in Athens, which they say led to the killing of Lake and Riley, despite the suspect in the case, Jose Ibarra, being arrested previously. And no policies have been adopted Please by the mayor and commission that have so created sorry, sanctuary city status in sir. Athens. Protesters disagree. May 20, 2019. Citing that on August 20th of 2019, a resolution was signed by GURPS in support of Athens' immigrant, undocumented, and Latinx community. You call me a white supremacist in your resolution. In the resolution, Athens Clark County leaders denounce white supremacy. Gertz claims the political climate at the time necessitated that language. Where you had the President of the United States speaking in the most vile terms about people who were foreign born. The purpose of the news conference was to discuss proposed security measures, including expanding a real time crime center, more security cameras, and a mobile surveillance trailer. But the sanctuary city issue took center stage. Son, I'm going to ask you to leave. Protesters like James Lee say the resolution from 2019 should immediately be rescinded, blaming the resolution and Gertz for Riley's death. We are deeply sorry for this tragedy. The responsibility for this crime rests solely upon the perpetrator. These protesters are now calling for Mayor Gertz to resign. Senator you need to go, sir. The new security measures will be up for approval here at City Hall on Tuesday at 6. Now, the protesters tell me they're meeting here for a march right before that at 5.30. In Athens, I'm Tracy A. McPeer, 11 Alive News. We will continue to follow this developing story. You can stay updated by downloading our 11 Alive Plus streaming app. Just search 11 Alive to download the app for free in your Apple, Roku, or Amazon streaming device.